Well, I think passengers uh, who need the train to get to places of work, education, important appointments, uh, will be disappointed that um, a deal couldn't be struck at the last hour. But um, it's important now that people who do have to make trips throughout the course of the next six days get the best possible information they can from train operators. They know exactly what's running. Um, and clearly, if people have already booked in advance, um, that the rules and the information they get about claiming a refund or rebooking the ticket is clear as well. So just outline then for people who don't know uh, exactly what this is going to mean for the next few days. And as you say, it's not just the strike days themselves, it's the days in between. So just outline for, for, for all of us really exactly what this strike is going to mean. On Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, but as you rightly say, the, the days after the strikes um, will also be severe disruption. Now, on average, there's around about one in five services uh, will be running on those strike days. But that does vary from part to part of the country, really. And in some areas, there might be a few more services running um, than that. And But equally in other areas, there'll be no trains at all. So it's absolutely important that passengers check, check and check again before even looking at um, walking down to the station or jumping in the car to go to the station to see what trains are running because it could be there are no services at all or very few throughout the day. Most services are running from uh, early morning but will be terminating uh, on strike days early evening. And as I say, for the days immediately after the strikes, the services will be look quite disrupted. So again, please check for information uh, before you travel. And so what's your uh, advice to passengers then who absolutely do need to travel? Where is the best place for them to go to get the, the most accurate uh, and up-to-date information? Well, first thing I would say certainly is go to the train operating company's websites or an app if you're um, able to do that. National Rail Inquiries is, is bang up to date with all the information, um, all the, the timetables and the new schedules have been uh, put into systems now. So if you are looking to plan a journey over the course of the next six days or so, look on there. But it's very important that you check and no doubt that even where a service is, is scheduled to run, during the day, there is always, of course, the uh, possibility of some disruption to that service as well. Trains will be busy, and it's worth pointing that out as well, because a number of people do have to get to places of work and important appointments, so that so people will be travelling, uh, and certainly at Transport Focus will be, will be tracking how passengers are getting that information and feeding back the train operators to get this better throughout the course of the, uh, the, uh, the next six days. And how concerned are you about the coming weeks and months and the possibility of further industrial action uh, after this week? Well, uh, we've said right throughout, that, you know, it's important that passengers want to uh, be able to, to use their rail service. And the only way of doing that, of course, is if the parties involved get around the table and sort out a deal. Um, it's important that happens as soon as possible and that once we're through these uh, six days, that hopefully a deal can be struck. If they don't, and it's something that rumbles on for the next few weeks, then it's going to cause, you know, passengers to think second, secondly about whether they use the train again in the future. And that, that's that's a disappointing thing, because since the pandemic, we've seen the number of people coming back to using the trains uh, has bounced back quite strongly, particularly for people taking leisure trips or holidays, uh, social visits on train, less so on commuters, obviously, with, with a number of people still able to work from home or travel less often to get the balance between working from home and being being in the office. But it's important that passengers have confidence and trust in the rail system in, 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 the, in the months and years to come to help us uh, tackle some of the issues that government wants to see more people using the train better for our environment and better for more sustainable transport choices.